What is going on everybody, Zonic here, and in today's video, we have another fun battle submission from a member of the community, Che Mysterious, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, with Shadow Dragonite, Cabalion, and Shadow Charizard, not only hitting Legend, but pushing onto the leaderboards as well with this team. Now, like yesterday's video, I guys I asked you guys about the lighting, if you guys cared or didn't care. To be fair, I recorded that video about five minutes ago, so I am literally time traveling right now in your life. But for me, I asked that question a few minutes ago. But what do you guys think about no light? I'm just trying to reduce the amount of unnecessary lighting if I don't need it. If you guys don't care and you just want to see the booms, then we will go with this setup because this is honestly the most comfortable for me because there's no bright lights in my face. Um, but yeah, let me, let me know and let's get into the battles. All right, getting into the first one. Now, this is going to be interesting. This is on leaderboard. So we got Shadow Dragonite here versus a shiny Regirock on the lead. Obviously, Regirock does very well against this team with Stone Edge and Focus Blast. But the thing about that is it has to land the charge move. And in situations like this, Shadow Dragonite can easily shield. You know it's not a shield bait. You know it's a Stone Edge coming through. And you can also potentially catch charge moves. Now, Super Power here is also very nice, com very nice coming from a Shadow Dragonite. I can speak today. As it will do super effective damage. And they decide to shield. And now we will see a swap into Cabalion here to catch the next charge move. And this Stone Edge is going to be resisted. Double resisted actually because of the Fighting Steel typing. And they will be able to get ahead on energy as the opponent now swaps into a Cresselia. So the fact that Cresselia is the best answer to a Cabalion is a big tell that they could do very well in the late game here. Um, if they so choose, because Cresselia isn't going to be able to do that much damage with Moonblast and Future Sight, let alone Grass Knot, right? Moonblast here does go through, only a little bit of neutral damage. Switch Clock is coming back up, and they might want to look to swap. They might look to swap out, I should say, to get ahead on energy. But that Reggie uh, Reggie Rock does have a little bit of energy as well. So let's see what they decide to do. They're going to go ahead and yeah, they're just going to no shield. They let the Cabalion go down, and now they can come in with uh let's see try they're gonna come in with charizard actually and really load up on energy they're reading that there might be a grass knot on this cresselia instead of future sight and they're gonna risk it right there calling that there is no future sight and it is just gonna be a moon blast which is perfect that means they can overload plenty on energy and go for a dragon claw now to take out the cresselia and a shadow charizard is one of the scariest things to face off against if it has a lot of energy, you don't have a great answer. Now they bring in the Reggie Rock, and they're going to go ahead and swap into the Dragonite now and go for Dragon Claw, which is still neutral damage as the opponent decides to no shield, but they do get to the Stone Edge and the Tough Call. They're going to go ahead and shield. We don't know what's in the back, but they want to keep the Dragonite alive. And the final Pokemon is going to be a fellow Dragonite, which means they're going to be able to get to this Dragon Claw in time, forcing the final shield. And then it's going to be a matter of who wins CMP tie, the Charizard or the Dragonite. Let's find out. Here we go. I think it might be Charizard. It is going to be Charizard that wins it here, and that is going to be a good game. The Regirock is still in the back, so they got to be careful about that. But Dragonite will go down. And they can now get to another Dragon Claw in time. And that is going to be a good one. So the double flyer strategy right here paying off very well for them as they take down the Reggie Rock. And catching that charge move was also huge for this matchup. Good game. All right, moving into the next one. We have, let's see, we got Dragonite versus Giratina Altered. Okay, let's see how they decide to play this. Both Pokemon doing super effective damage to each other with Dragon Breath. And it looks like it's going to come down to a CMP tie as Shadow Dragonite will easily take that. As it's much more attack weighted over the Giratina Altar and the opponent decides to no shield. Now they could shield and they're looking to do that as they go for the farm down. But the opponent now might swap out that they got shield advantage, which they do. And they come in with a Shadow Alolan Sand Slash, which is going to be quickly met with the double kick sacred sword combination here on the Cabalion, which is a beautiful boom! One shots the Sand Slash, just gone. And now Giratina Altered has to come in with Dragon Breath and no energy. This is devastating here as they can easily overload on energy and the opponent might be double weak in the back. I wouldn't be surprised if it's something like Walrein or a Reggie Steel. Let's find out as Cabalion is overloading on energy and the battler here is making a great call that they are weak in the back as they go for the Sacred Sword. Undercharge it as well so they can farm down to get more energy. 
final Pokemon, it's actually going to be a Swampert. So they still have a good amount of damage that they can put out here with the Sacred Sword. They still have Dragonite with Dragon Breath, and they still have Charizard. Obviously, Charizard is going to be the one that gets boomed by a Hydro Cannon, but ultimately... I think we're going to see a good game right here as they now swap back out into Dragonite and they do have one shield remaining. So they might look, to, oh, they're going to go ahead and no shield, forcing the energy now from Swampert. It is enough to KO the Dragonite. They're going to come back in with Kabalion and look to go for a Sacred Sword. And then this might be a Charizard close as the Swampert is going to have to throw energy in order to win this game, which means it can't go for back to back, but they can. Ooh, do they throw here? I feel like it's... Okay, they're going to go ahead and shield. I, I don't think the Swampert has two Hydro Cannons. Let's see. Yeah, they don't. They can easily go for the Sacred Sword here, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played. So, obviously, the Kabalion matched into the Alolan Sand Slash was huge there for the mid-game matchup. All right, moving into the next one. Let's see. We have... Waiting for the opponent. I love the uh, looking at the watch. Like, come on, Q time. Come on, queue time. For anyone who's on leaderboards or higher up in the rankings, there there are queue times. You gotta wait a bit. All right, we got Dragonite now versus Shadow Swamper. Very positive lead right here for them as they will be resisting those charge moves. And we do see a swap out in the wall range, so the Kabalion is gonna come in right away. Again, a good matchup, but you have to watch out for that Earthquake as it will do super effective damage. Um, and that's the, that's the big question here. Do they call the Earthquake? They're gonna go ahead and call the bait. And it was the Earthquake, so it lands, but it's not enough to KO which is perfect for them as they can safely look to go for double um, Sacred Swords right here. But the opponent decides to shield. So now Kabalion is definitely going to be outpacing to charge moves because the uh, the Walrein is going to have to throw Icicle Spears. And they do get two shields from the opponent. Oh my goodness. They're going to go ahead and give up a shield themselves. And now I think they got to go for Stone Edge, which they are, I believe, one fast move away, two fast moves away. And they do get to it in time. So this is going to be enough damage to KO Walrein. So they maintain switch advantage. They maintain shield advantage, one to zero. And let's see what that final Pokemon is. I kind of hope it's an Alolan Sand Slash so we can see a Blast Burn land. But let's find out. Dragonite comes in. It's actually going to be a Pidgeot. So that is going to be a good game. They can easily go for Blast Burn here to close this one out. They're going to decide to no shield the potential Brave Bird. Boom! One shots the Charizard. But now Dragonite is going to go ahead and come in and go for a Dragon Claw to take out the Pidgeot. And then they should be able to beat the Swampert relatively easily here. And that is going to be a good game. Dragon Breath and Super Power will take this one. I don't think Dragon Claw is enough. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and go for Super Power. Hits a bit harder, even though it isn't Stab. Same type attack bonus, right? Dragon Typing and uh, Dragon Claw. But they do take out the Swampert anyways. And that is going to be boom, late boom, boom. Good game. <laughs> oh, geez. Delayed booms. I'm not on it today. We got Dragonite now versus Clefable. Okay, very tough lead right here. Let's see what they decide to come in with. They're going to come in with the Kabalion now. And we do see a Shadow Swampert come into this matchup. So the Sacred Sword is going to do a lot of neutral damage. Hydro Cannon as well needs to be feared, but ultimately it's not a KO move at this much health. But they have to watch out for that Earthquake. And they could potentially flip this mid-game matchup around if the Swampert decides not to go into shields. But they go ahead and get one shield right there. And now it's going to be up to Charizard to basically win this game. As they're going to call the potential Hydro Cannon or they don't care about the Earthquake. And it was the Hydro Cannon, which is perfect now. They could take this into the... Uh, nope, they're just going to let it go. They want to come back in with Dragonite. They want to have 2-1 to one shield advantage for Charizard. As they know Swampert being on the field likely means this is the hardest counter to a Charizard now gone. We'll have to see if that pays off. But Dragonite's going to go ahead and come in and unleash those Dragon Breaths and fully farm down. But Swampert will be able to get this Hydro Cannon off before it goes down. Does a good amount of chip damage. Still about 50%. They come in with Charizard and farm down, actually. Is it now going to be a Charizard Mirror? So this looks to be a good game as they can safely, dramatically overload on energy. Go for Dragon Claws. They just have to watch out for the opponent swapping and catching a dragon claw that's gonna be yeah the opponent decides to leave two to one shields with energy advantage in a mirror it's all over and that is going to be a good game as charizard in the back end would have blast burned the clefable as well and it was all over all right we got dragonite now versus greedent on the lead oh my gosh 
This thing gives me nightmares. It's so spam. We've got a Tentacruel safe swap in now, so they don't really have a great answer for it other than Dragon Breath and Dragon Claw, and they still, their Kabalion does very well against the Greedent in the back. So they're probably looking to stay in this matchup even though they take neutral damage from Poison Jab because they can easily shield right here and make sure they have Switch, make sure they have a superpower ready to go. It is going to be an Asset Spray, unfortunately, that does debuff them, but they can get to a Dragon Claw now in time, forcing a shield here from Tentacruel, or just taking full switch advantage. They do get the shield. They're going to go ahead and swap out now into Kabalion to get ahead on energy, saving the Dragonite. And now the Kabalion doesn't need to worry about Scald either. So let's see. Yeah, Scald doesn't do too much damage. They resist poison jabs, and now they're in a place where they can farm down. They will get hit with one more charge move, but Kabalion is okay with tanking this damage. If that Greedent comes back in, Right? And then an acid spray. Yeah, the green. Oh, the greeting comes back in. What is in the back? What it could it possibly be to get switch locked into a Kabalion with this much energy? And what? My goodness. They're going to go ahead and let this go. And remember, a green and body slam and crunch, which is heavily resisted. So Kabalion is just going to be taking this one. It must be something else weak to a fighting type Pokemon. So let's find out. Oh my goodness, that does so much damage. It's like swap back into Dragonite, knowing that Kabalion can win this game. And it's going to be a Skung Tank in the back. So both Pokemon don't do well against the Fighting Steel typing there of the Kabalion. So Shadow Dragonite now is going to be able to get the final shield of this game. Skung Tank is able to farm down. There's still a Tentacruel, but they come in with Kabalion and go for Sacred Sword right away. And remember, we still have a Charizard. And lurking in the back as they will probably yeah they're gonna let this go and Charizard's gonna go ahead and clean this one up they just need to watch out for the and it doesn't even KO my goodness the Kabalion is just hanging on acid spray scald body slam crunch nothing took it down because of that steel fighting typing Charizard comes in and farms down they can safely shield right here and that is gonna be a good game Tentacruel I don't believe has a charge move or anywhere near a charge move as they will get, yeah, they're going to go ahead and surrender. That is going to be a good game. Very well played. I think that was the final one. No, we got one more. One more battle. Let me check the time set. Yeah, this looks to be the last battle right here. And let's see. We have Dragonite versus Giratina Alter Shiny. One at that. Love the flex. And let's see what moveset it is. Shadow Claw versus Dragon Breath. Now, obviously, Dragonite doing a lot of fast move damage. But they also, the Giratina gets to the charge move faster so it's anyone's guess of what they're gonna do in this matchup as the opponent swaps into a reggie steel now and this is a very tough situation for the Kabalion as they are behind on shields which means they have to let the focus blast go through now it's not enough to ko the opponent went for zap cannon instead hoping to lower the attack which it does that means these sacred swords aren't going to be doing as much damage as they would have before but now we got to start thinking okay what could be in the back is it worth giving up a shield here on Kabalion to try to win the mid game? And I think the answer is no. I think the answer is to let Kabalion go down and then come in and farm. But they do get to another Sacred Sword in time, which might just force a shield now from Reggie Steel as they go for a great. No, the opponent decided to no shield as they're going to go ahead and let this go. Yeah, they need energy. I wouldn't be surprised if Charizard comes in right now as a focus blast. Boom, takes down the Kabalion. But Dragonite instead is going to come in. It's going to be a shadow Charizard in the back. But this Dragonite is so far ahead on energy that they can get back to back Dragon Claws right here without any threat of a charge move yet from Charizard as they do get to the second one in time. Now, do they swap out? I think the play is to keep Charizard in the back. No, they're going to go ahead and swap out right away, keep their own Dragonite alive. And now Charizard has to throw. They will give up the final shield. I feel like these games are a bit sped up, but that's okay. Because now another charge move coming through. Can the Charizard hang on? Let's see, it is just going to be a Dragon Claw, so they do survive. We will see the Dragon Claw now land in the mirror fight. Going to be taking out. There's still a Giratina Altar in the back, which I believe has a little bit of energy. Let's see. No, they make a swap out trying to catch the charge move and they don't get it as Reggie Steel gets farmed down and now double Dragon Claw here from Shadow Charizard is going to be taking this game. So good battle, very well played to the opponent as they do get to another one in time. So Shadow Charizard able to do the full sweep right there. Beautiful setup and beautiful set of games right there 
from Che Mysterious. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Shout out to this battle for sharing these battles with us. Beautiful set right there with this team and uh, very fun Pokemon overall, right? Shadow Dragonite, Shadow Charizard, Kabalion. No shiny there, unfortunately, on the catch, but still very cool nonetheless as they do climb up to... 3,348 rating with this team. So like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.